We have two groups of Pinoy's on our show today. At pareho silang nagbalik tanaw sa Pilipinas. Our first guests, very young philanthropists. At ang pangalawa, mga young at heart na ibabalik ang golden era ng Pinoy music. Ready na ba kayo? Ako si G. Tanji and welcome to Kababayan Today. Thank you so much, Albert Bataclan, who uh, is making this possible, this renewed energy on our show. Anyway, on to the show. Kapit Bisig Kabataan is a national Filipino-American youth and student-led relief and rebuild network, which was created in response to Typhoon Haiyan. Their mission is to organize and unite with Filipino youth across the country to engage in grassroots relief efforts, participate in community immersions, and to advocate for sustainable and systemic changes to improve the lives of people most affected by climate change. Joining us today, kasama natin si April Bacaro, who is pursuing medicine at UCR and is currently volunteering, uh, volunteering rather, as an intern at Riverside Community Hospital. She aims to become a global health physician and she's focusing on the medical needs in Southeast Asia. Kasama rin natin si Megan Faronda, who is a recent graduate of UC Santa Barbara from San Diego. She currently is a member of the youth organization Anak Bayan. Kasama Natin, who's been on our show before, Alex Montances, hails from the Pacific Northwest, but has been doing community organization and social justice work in Long Beach for the past seven years. He currently is a worker organizer with a Filipino migrant center. Siempre, we support them on Kababayan today. And lastly, kasama natin si Jewel De La Cruz. She's a graduate of woo -woo, my <laughs> alumni UCLA with a degree in Asian American studies. Currently, she serves as the regional coordinator for the Kapit Bisi Kabataan Network. Guys, welcome to the show. That was a mouthful. <laughs> you guys are so young and so accomplished. Wow. Okay, let's start off with Alex. Alex, Kapit Bisi, how were you uh, introduced to this group? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm Filipino-American. I was born and raised here in the U.S. Um, I grew up in the Seattle area, actually, so there's not as many Filipinos there. But when I started, um, you know, even after college and when I started to do, like, nonprofit work, I ran into the National Alliance for Filipino Concerns, which was partnering with Kapit Bisi Kabataan Network. And so basically, when the uh, typhoon hit, Typhoon Yolanda in 2013, I actually realized that it hit my mom's hometown, Tacloban, Leyte. Mm. And so after doing all of this fundraising and all of this uh, awareness and education here in California and in the U.S., you know, it made me really think, you know, I want to go on the KBKN mission and I want to see it for myself and see what happened to my family over there. Okay, I'm sure that must be very powerful. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about <laughs> how you were affected when you went back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, April, how did you become part of Kapit BC? Well, I'm actually um, the president of an on-campus organization, sa UCR, mm -hmm. called Filipinos in Health Sciences. Okay. AKA Fish. <laughs> oh, Fish. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and um, actually, Anak Bayan introduced Fish to KBKN. And I was very interested in joining KBKN because I wanted to actually go to Tacloban Leyte because I have family members from there and during the typhoon I actually had members of my family who were affected and they actually passed away <laughs> so I it really gave me um, it gave me hope to go there and try to help as much as I can because it really brings it close to home if I were to go and visit there and so I did. <laughs> uh, I'm getting emotional talking to you, April. Wow, you had family that perished in this tragic mm -hmm. typhoon. And so y you want to go there, you want to give back, and you're surrounded around other people that are part of the youth that also want to help. Yes. So I'm sure the camaraderie is really strong. Yes, it definitely helped because I thought at first that I was going to face some trouble going there because it would have been very drastic for me to actually witness it in person mm. because just seeing it on TV was already hard enough. But then when I went there, all my kasamas were with me and they were able to help me and guide me through everything. And that does help me 
help uh, the community community over there. Okay, and Megan, ikaw naman, when you went to the Philippines, how was that for you, being part of Kapit Bisig? Um, you know, for me, this was actually my first uh, trip of this kind. So, before, but you've been to the Philippines bef yeah, before. Yeah, I've been to the Philippines before with my family, and every time we come, it's like we really live that it's more fun in the Philippines <laughs> kind of lifestyle, you know. So this was a different kind very of very different, and I really got to meet the people and really get a better sense of my roots and an understanding of the kind of kinds of issues they face and how I relate to those uh, issues and the people there. Okay, uh, Jewel, let's talk about the importance of understanding what the issues of our Kababayans are back in the homeland. Because, you know, we're here in America, so we can be very removed mm -hmm. from that experience. Why is it important for the youth to go back and experience this? So the, the youth were actually a big part of making this network come together. So when we first heard about it in 2013, it was the youth and students all across the U.S. that were wanting to see and wanting to make sure that their funds that they were raising were going to the people themselves. Uh, patay. Patay na tayo. So it was okay. the youth that really was trying to <laughs> keep themselves accountable because they were raising funds and they really wanted to make sure that they were going to the people affected by the typhoon. Mm. Because with all the news about corruption scandals, the youth were like, well, we don't want our money to go there. We so want we're going to go So and we're going to go, sure. sure. Yes. Okay. So we partnered with grassroots organizations, and we learned there that the youth there are just like us. You know, they have dreams of becoming doctors and lawyers and um, nurses and teachers, and we have those same dreams here as youth and students, and we're not disconnected from them. Yes. Okay, when we come back, kasama pa din natin ang grupong Kapit Bisig. And let's find out from them how they plan to use the knowledge and experience they gained from the Philippines. Sa buhay nila dito sa Amerika. Don't go away.